California State Superintendent of Public Instruction Tom Torlakson visited Patrick Henry High School today to campaign for Prop 30 and promote a pilot program called Strong Schools for a Strong Economy. Tom Torlakson, welcome to Evening Edition. Now, earlier today, you dropped by Patrick Henry High School uh, in part because they have quite a uh, technical education program. What did you see there? Well, I saw a shining example of what's best in California education. We saw engaged students, articulate, working in teams, communicating well, hands-on, doing problem solving. One was a career academy in engineering, and another was a career academy in human development, careers in child care or teaching. And these are kind of examples, as you mentioned, of the Strong School, Strong Economy uh, program. It's supposed to better prepare students for the 21st century workforce. How how does it do that, or how is it supposed to do that? Well, they get to do hands-on, and the engineers, the students who will become our future engineers, have CAD computer-aided drawing. They have computers that have these cool programs. They're learning the the art of engineering and architecture, and they they have hands-on experience. Uh, so this is what employers are looking for: teamwork, also, and the students understand why they have to do the math and the science because it all fits into a career pathway. There's purpose. How different is this from, let's say, college prep? programs are also some uh, vocational schools, dare mm -hmm. I say, from, from years past. Sure. Well, this is more integrated. So you do look at uh, the cross-disciplinary skills. Instead of in a silo, you just study math in an abstract way. You study applied mathematics. In, in science, you study uh, physics and chemistry as it relates to uh, green energy, sustainable energy, carbon cycles, global warming. Uh, so it fits everything together. Your literature and readings uh, also tie in thematically to the career pathway that your academy is in. Immersed in this tour, uh, statewide tour, mm -hmm. you've been talking to parents and teachers about Proposition um, 31 and, and kind of linking it to this type of program, I mean Prop 30, excuse yes. me. Um, what is your message about that? Well, I say Prop 30 is a way to reinvest in our schools. About a year and a half ago, Californians were paying another five to six billion in taxes, and we're just saying restore that money. That money went sunset, stopped. We desperately need those funds. Schools have lost 25 percent of their funding and face another 10 percent of their funding to be eliminated. Programs like I saw today could be dismantled. It would be a tragic consequences. They're talking about around the state school year being shortened by two, three, or four weeks. That's unthinkable. Yes, yeah, San Diego Unified, I spoke with them, and they're they are making provisions on that. I want to say in an earlier interview about Prop 30, we spoke with Chris Kate uh, with the San Diego County Taxpayers mm -hmm. Association. He advised rejecting both Prop 30 and Prop 38. Let's, let's listen. We already have the second highest income tax rate in, this, in the country. We have the highest sales tax rate in the country. And if the education part of they should focus on that rather than uh, wasting time, energy, and money on things like high-speed rail or other pet projects that they want to, want to get done. So basically he was saying that, you know, this, this is money that could, this is special interest basically, this pet project. How do you respond to criticism that, okay. that these projects are pet projects? Well, th I, I want to say what our special project is, is our kids. Uh, it's the six million students. It's the students in our San Diego schools. They need help. No matter what you think of the budget process in Sacramento, we're a fairly modest, middle-of-the-pack taxing state, but we're just saying restore the money we used to invest just a year and a half ago into our schools. Just bring us back to that level to, to hold us through till the economy gets better. We're a disgraceful 47th in the nation in per-pupil spending. This school district in San Diego City area is getting about $6,000 per pupil. Massachusetts, Connecticut, New Hampshire, they're at twelve, thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars $14,000 per pupil. Their test scores are higher, their results are stronger because they're putting their money in. They're investing in our kids. All right. Unfortunately, we are out of time. I want to let uh, viewers know that they can listen to an extended interview uh, with you on our website, kpbs.org. State Superintendent of Schools, uh, Tom Torlickson, thanks so much for talking with us. Thank you, Peggy.